welcome back to another video right so in today's video we will be covering uh, one of the tools called as black and scores options calculator right so uh, let me just quickly give you uh, an idea of what we will cover in the whole video and uh, then we shall get right into it right so uh, in today's uh, we shall try and understand who black and scores actually are and uh, how they actually uh, build this uh, entire uh, options calculator itself right in order to uh, calculate your options premium we will also be uh, covering uh, something called a payoff graph which actually uh, makes uh, uh, options calculation way easier in, uh, in terms of prediction right so that that is something where we will uh, cover a little later on on in the video as well as we shall also understand what option greeks are right so uh, option greeks we uh, have uh, a lot of benefits from that uh, from actually understanding the premium movement to understanding how uh, vol volatile volatility also changes uh, premium uh, prices and much more right so that again we will be coming uh, later on in the video so make sure you stay till the end in order to uh, understand all of these right so let's quickly uh, start today's video <music> coming to the black and schools options calculator right so this was actually developed by economists uh, who are named fisher black and myron schools along with a mathematician called robert merton right so uh, it is also known as black schools merton uh, options calculator but uh, it is more popularly known as black and schools uh, calculator right uh, this uh, this calculate calculation or the math involved behind it is actually uh, a little complex formula which we actually do not have to really understand it right we shall actually directly understand the benefit of this uh, options calculation itself right and this was actually a revolutionary um, thing where uh, the uh, all the three uh, economists and mathematicians were won uh, nobel prizes in 1997 for their contribution itself right so uh, we shall uh, understand what exactly um, they have done in uh, by directly understanding this calculator right so uh, you can find this calculator directly on stolo uh, under tools right so under tools you have this thing called the options calculator which is uh, nothing but the black and skulls options calculator right so the whole idea is to calculate the premium value right so you can understand um, you can understand or uh, predict a, a very close by premium value on what that particular strikes value can be either today uh, on expiry or more right so uh, this is the calculator where you have to continuously calculate um, each time to understand uh, according to different uh, levels of the index you're calculating for right i will show you a simpler um, more effective way of doing this uh, in two more minutes right so you have to stay tuned for that and watch this <laughs> video for more longer right so yeah uh, quickly coming to the calculator itself let me take an example of nifty right so let's say uh 19,910 itself so that's the current price um, spot price we are seeing over there let us take 19,900 as our uh strike price right so expiry let's keep it as tomorrow itself right so what this will do is when you do calculate uh, the value it will give you the value uh, what on what the premium for call and put can be for tomorrow right in terms of uh, taking all the underlying factors such as the uh, expiry date is one the volatility the interest rate uh, and also it would calculate the option greeks right and we would come to why that is important as well so volatility uh, so you can do this in two ways you can directly put the iv of that particular uh, strike itself or you can put the india wix value right so uh, 19900 we can uh, directly take it from the uh, option chain itself 19900 iv is 15.20 right so let me just put that here directly and the interest rate is usually taken from the rbi website right so as you can uh, see here the interest rate is nothing but the 91 day treasury bill primary yield right so that should be 6.80 as we are seeing it here right so let me just add that as well 
6.80. So once you have entered all this value, you would actually uh, understand what that premium for the, uh, this particular strike, that is 19,900, can be on the day of expiry, right? And it also calculates the um, Greek values for the same, right? So you know that, okay, for this uh, particular strike on expiry, it can be 17.26, uh, which, which would be the 19,900 call premium as well as uh, the put premium for 19,900 would be 56.56, right? And one thing to notice, both of these are, um, uh, what do you call, at the money, right? So uh, it's not in the money or out of the money, it is the at the money uh, value uh, as we are seeing on the option chain according to uh, the Nifty current value itself, right? So that is how you actually understand uh, the value uh, change and how you can predict what the premium change can be according to the spot, right? So what you do now is once you have set all of these, you keep changing the spot price, right? So for, let's assume uh, Nifty actually um, expires at 19,950, right? And you can actually predict the value if uh, it does go, uh, Nifty does go to 19,950 tomorrow, you can expect the premiums to go uh, this higher right so this is how the calculations are done and how the payoff is calculated for different spot prices so similarly you can also take 18 19,890 and we will see the premiums of call go lower and put go higher as well right so instead of manually doing this one by one and trying to find out the payoff we actually have a strategy builder right so uh, there's actually a very in-depth uh, video on this strategy builder, which you can find on uh, Stolo's YouTube channel. But for now, uh, I'll just take a quick example in order for you to understand it, right? So let me just take, okay, this is nifty. Let me just take buy call, right? So nothing but buy call. And this is for 19,900 itself. So directly, uh, once you have selected, so you have many people strategies as well as you can create your own strategies, right? So you can click on add edit. It will give you the option chain for you to add uh, uh, and put your own strikes as well, right? So for example, here we've taken a uh, buy call of 19,900 C, right? So here you would directly get to know uh, how much, uh, not only how much the premium uh, would actually move, but according to your lots, size that is nothing but here we have taken as one lot you would understand the exact profit and loss by uh, uh, looking at the level of nifty right so for example here if we have taken this particular uh, strategy today so if we have bought a 19,900 call of price at 63.15 and let's assume tomorrow uh, nifty actually moves to 20,050 right if nifty moves to 20050 tomorrow it would actually give you uh, a profit of 4342.5 on the expiry day right so this strategy builder the payoff graph behind uh, this also the underlying is black uh, and skulls model it's actually uh, another uh, version of black and skulls model with which we have uh, actually build this uh, right so uh, it gives you directly so here you not only get the expiry but also you get the uh, target date right so example here my target date is 20th September not expiry right so uh, 20,050 you would uh, see the value of uh, on target day you would make so that is nothing but today you would if nifty did end at 20,050 you would make a profit of 5,304.93 right so this is the strategy builder where you can actually use this and it would be much more beneficial instead of you manually entering and uh, uh, seeing it each uh, by each right so that is um, where i wanted to cover on how uh, more easy it can be so uh, quickly coming to the uh, option greeks right so um, again so option greeks uh, again uh, so many traders do use option greeks to trade many traders do not use as well but the knowledge behind it is uh, actually uh, very good right so the lo knowledge and logic behind it is uh, very important to understand and uh, I'll try to keep it as simple as possible for you right so yes uh, let me quickly come to the uh, option Greeks part for you uh, for you to understand right let me just open this
Yes. So coming to uh, the option Greek, so uh, we will be covering uh, delta, gamma, theta, vega, as well as rho, right? So rho uh, is not uh, usually considered as very important, but we should uh, understand it as well and uh, look how it actually impacts the uh, option price as well, right? So quickly coming into delta, right? So delta is nothing but the measure of how much the option uh, price, right? So option price is nothing but the options premium changes with relation to one point change in the underlying assets price, right? So, okay, that might be a little confusing or a lot to uh, take in, but I shall quickly explain it, right? So with the help of the option chain itself, I shall quickly explain it. So here, as you can see, um, you can see Nifty at 19,910, right? And for example, here, uh, the strike for 19,900, the Nifty premium is at 63.15, right? And its delta value is uh, 0.51. So what we understand is if Nifty moves from 19,910.45 to 19,911.45, there will be an addition of 0.51 into this premium of 63.15. So the value it would trade at would be 63.66 rupees, right? So that is the whole idea of Delta. So I uh, hope you understood that. If you did not, you can rewind it a little and uh, watch that uh, again in order to understand, right? So you know that for every point move in Nifty, how the premium would change for that particular strike, right? So as you can see here, the delta keeps changing as you go in the money the delta gets a little more higher as well right as the premiums are a little more uh costlier as well so here it's 0 0.5, 0 0.51 as you go in the money for call uh, uh on the call side you can see it goes to 0 0.60 0 0.71 0 0.78 0 0.82 and more right so similar it would be on the put side as well so that is a delta so you would understand the change in options that particular strikes uh, premium change according to the movement in the underlying that is nothing but nifty here right so that is uh, um, delta coming to gamma right so gamma is nothing but the rate of change of options delta value for one point change in the underlying assets price right so uh, again I, i'll quickly uh, give you an example in the option chain itself so this is nothing but the rate of change of delta itself so how delta is changing so uh, it would not be 0 0.51 here right so also i decided to take this after the market so that the values do not keep changing and confuse us right so in the live market uh, all these data would continuously be changing as well so how uh, so it uh, as i was saying it wouldn't be 0 0.51 right it would change from 0.51 to 0.53 to 0.6 as it um, as the uh, market moves right so how this change is calculated is with gamma value right so gamma value here for 19900 is 0.0025 right so uh, what happens is again if nifty moves from 19910.45 to 19911.45 this 0 0.025 would be added to 0 0.51 and that would be the new delta value which would be uh, used to calculate the LTP movement as well, right? So that is um, the purpose of gamma in options Greek, right? So coming to theta. So one thing you can see here is uh, uh, delta and gamma are option buyers best friend right so uh, you would exactly know with one point movement how much the premium could uh, be moving right coming to theta theta is an option seller's best friend right so theta measures the rate at which an option's uh, premium value decreases as time passes right assuming that all factors remain constant so for example let's again come to the option chain here right so the theta value here let's take for example 19,800 strike right so 19,800 strike you can see the theta is minus 34 right so minus 34 already says that he uh, theta is not an option buyer's friend right it's an option seller's friend so what happens is if nifty is nine at 19,910 tomorrow as well it, at the opening uh, we can see the premium change from uh, 
we were taking 19,800, right? So you can see the premium change from 134.20 to 1 100.20, uh, right? That is because this 34 theta it will get subtracted from 134, right? So it will be 134.20 minus 34. So that would give a value of 100.20, right? So that tells you that as the day moves on towards expiry, there will be a change in the uh, last traded price or the premium value of that uh, particular strike uh, due to theta, right? So this uh, says that and uh, this also one very important thing here is that uh, there shouldn't be a very big movement in Nifty, right? As long as Nifty is sideways and it's moving around 19,910 and it opens without a gap up or gap down opening the next day you can see this minus 34 happening on the LTP right that is the premium of it so that is uh, theta and that is why it's an option seller's best friend right so option sellers know that if they are predicting the market to be inside a certain range they know that per day there will be 34 uh, they would capture a premium of 34 points here right so that is the idea of theta so coming to vega vega is nothing uh it's more on the idea of volatility right so we know that more the uh volatility uh more uh it is more in the side of the option buyers itself right so vega measures how much an option's price is expected to change for one percentage point change in implied volatility right so here implied volatility comes into play where one percentage point change in implied volatility volatility tells you uh, how much the premium can change by right so uh, per iv change here it tells you again we'll take the example for 19900 so here what we get to know is per percentage point change in implied volatility volatility will uh, cause a four rupees premium change in the last traded price right that is nothing but your options premium so that is vega coming to the last one that is rho rho basically measures the options price to change uh, as per the interest rates right so this usually it's not considered as interest range interest rates do not change on daily basis either it takes uh, a certain period of time to actually uh, find a change in interest rate. So this uh, usually is not considered by uh, options traders, but this does have an impact on the uh, premium price as well, right? This is one of the factors. So uh, again, uh, it would be a very uh, small change that would be happening, which would not have a very big impact on the options price, right? So row is nothing but uh, the options premium changing changing according to the change in interest rates right so interest rates again you can calculate it uh, by looking at uh, the rbi website itself directly so yes uh, that is the entire uh, video on uh, black and scholes black and scholes calculator we understood how you can actually predict not only um, uh, what do you call your profit and loss according to different strategies set but also you now understand uh, option greek as well right and how important it is towards the options premium value so hope you uh, learned something new today hope this was um, valuable to you so one thing is uh, i want you to make sure to subscribe to the channel so that we make more such videos and uh, yes as usual i shall surely uh, catch you in the next video thank you